Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet, and today we're going to take a look at the uh, iPod Nano 6th generation. We have a battery that isn't holding a charge for very long, and a uh, customer would like that replaced. So there's only one way in uh, to replace this and we will just warm up the display a little bit because that's where we're going to go. We're going to go through the display to get to the battery. There's a very thin uh, outer perimeter uh, where the display is attached with adhesive. So you don't want to put a tool very far in. Uh, I didn't measure the exact uh, distance, but uh, if you just pay kind of close attention you'll see that I'm not putting the tool very far in so there's a cable uh, that you do have to watch out for and it's on the other side um, so it kind of opens up like a book uh, if you have the power button uh, top side and you're looking straight down at it then it would be on, um, on our left so on the left hand side as the screen uh, is now that cable for the display is uh, located on that left side so we're talking about maybe uh, in just regular inches or whatever you're talking about a, a sixteenth of an inch maybe something about uh, 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 roughly in there So we're just checking the screen uh, sort of throughout the process of removing it just to kind of keep an eye on things and make sure we haven't done any damage to the display. The cost of replacing the display along with the battery is pretty inexpensive. Um, so, you know, if you did do some damage to the screen, it's, or you just don't want to bother with worrying or about it, it's not really all that expensive to replace the screen along with the battery. But there's no really need to either, as long as you can get the screen off without doing any damage. So you'll see there's a, a shield here, metal shields held on with a couple screws. There's a couple of little rubber, um don't know really what to call those but um, they're along the edge and they just kind of fill in a space um, where you can get to the screw uh, they're just small really tiny uh, Phillips head probably a triple zero double zero something would probably be, be good enough um, so as you can kind of begin to see there's a whole lot uh, a little tiny um, border of surface area to to apply adhesives to hold that screen in so that's difficult um, to work with if the screen doesn't want to stay stuck down you may have to um, uh, try a little something extra so what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to make sure that we thoroughly clean the surface area that we're going to apply adhesive. Uh, that's really important. We'll be doing that on the housing as well as the display itself. We'll also be using a primer. And the primer will give us uh, some added uh, strength to the bond. If you're still having problems, you could potentially use uh, a few drops of a very tiny amount of super glue or something. Um, the sort of controlled gel super glue, Loctite. Um, and that might uh, actually uh, help to hold the screen in place. So when we're removing the battery at this point, we don't want to desolder uh, necessarily those wires from the board um, because we're going to take advantage of uh, the the extension 
from the little bit of uh, wire we leave behind in order to make the uh, the to, to get the new battery to install a little bit easier and to give us a little bit more uh, slack in the wires uh, so it's not necessarily something that's required um, but in any case this is just what what I chose to do you can do it either way <laughs> So we're going to uh, just strip a little bit off of the ends of these wires so that we can apply a little flux and some solder onto them and get them prepped and ready to put the new battery on. So we are adding a little bit of flux to the tips of those wires and now we'll apply a little bit of solder to those ends So now, having done that, we'll be able to easily attach the new wires uh, from the new battery. Without any real trouble. So we're going to um, have two wires, though, uh, that are exposed and could potentially touch uh, once everything is closed up and put back together. We don't want that. So we're just going to use some liquid electrical tape, effectively, is what it is. It's just kind of, um, it's effectively liquid. Uh, it's electrical tape, but it's a liquid. Uh, so we're going to use a small, the tip of our nylon spudger, and we're going to apply a little bit of that here in just a moment. Then we'll let that dry, and then once it's dry and everything, we can work with it. And then we'll just put a, a, a coating, a little shield, over those exposed areas of the wires. So the little black gooey looking stuff is the liquid electrical tape and it's perfectly safe. So there you can see a little bit of coating there which protects our uh, solder joints there. And we're just going to let that dry and cure, um, probably left it overnight. And then, um, of course, you don't have to wait quite that long, probably a good maybe 10, 15 minutes at most. But we let it dry, probably overnight, went on to some other repair. But in any case, we'll come back the next day. It's plenty dry, and we can work with it. Now, we're going to um, have to place this battery in a certain way, I, uh, I think, starting to try and fit it in here this direction it won't work so we're going to put the bottom side of the battery in first and then it'll set right back down in there where it goes no problem a bit of adhesive on the underside of that battery will kind of keep it in 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 place now we need to tuck these wires in uh, and they this is kind of important um, we need to uh, fuss a little bit over it and make sure those wires are going to stay uh, neatly tucked in uh, somewhat between the battery and the little logic board 
so that they're not uh, in any way pressing upward on the screen. That part of that uh, video cable that you can kind of see exposed there as I'm sliding that display in, you'll notice that we are having to sort of tuck it in uh, between the frame and the glass. So that is a bit of a tricky sort of uh, maneuver when you're attempting to put the adhesive in. We're going to strip off the old adhesive now, and we're going to get started prepping the surface for some fresh new adhesive, and we'll also be using a primer. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit out of frame there. So now there's a little bit of leftover adhesive that's also going to be on the actual glass part of the display. Um, and, and, uh, it may or may not have stuck there, but it uh, most likely will. So you won't just have it on the actual housing there, but you'll also have it on the display. So the glass part can be scratched up, the little paint or whatever the color is, um, can be scratched up from behind in the back of the glass there. So if you're using a piece of metal or something to pull those loose you need to be careful that you don't scratch up the surface this is the primer that I spoke about um, these are just little uh, sticks that you can purchase uh, they're one-off use um, basically you're just gonna break them uh, internally and that uh, releases the primer into the little uh, cotton tip and now we're going to use that to coat the surface of the area where we're going to add the fresh new adhesive. So we'll put a little bit on the back side of the glass as well as on the frame. And um, it doesn't look like um, this, there was probably a point in time where I uh, used a little bit of alcohol to sort of clean uh, those surfaces a little bit better. It doesn't look like it made it into the video, so you might keep that in mind as well. Um, we're going to try and uh, put these little pieces of rubber back where they go um, and apply a little adhesive uh, primer rather on top of those as well. Um, so that's um, kind of weird. Uh, so to speak, we have a uh, very small area on this side in which to tuck in that part of that cable that's exposed there. Um, so that's, again, going to be a little tricky. Uh, we're going to use, um, I believe this is probably a 2 millimeter width. And we're just going to put what we need in there and cut it to fit. Uh, they might make some sort of pre-cut adhesive that you could possibly get for this uh, screen, but um, it's not exactly uh, a, a much easier to do that as it is to just cut your own fit. Um, but whatever it is that you have, is up to you.
So, I hope everybody has been uh, okay, uh, healthy, and safe during these uh, bizarre uh, times with this uh, pandemic that's going on. In our case, we've had uh, quite a lot going on. In fact, uh, we've been really pretty busy. And um, we've added some new equipment and some other things involved in our particular uh, business that we needed. So, um, yeah, I mean, we've been doing okay. Um, But we've also been really super busy. uh, And I've been doing things for the family as well as the business. So I've been super busy and haven't really had time for uh, to upload any videos. But uh, uh, besides this one, there's at least uh, another one that's um, pretty much ready to go. Except I'm waiting on a uh, essentially a new computer. Um, the one I've been using for video editing um, is not uh, it's not it's not working quite well enough for that. And I uh, just got another one. Um, it's actually a, uh, a custom-built uh, Dell Alienware. And um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but uh, it's being built now as we speak. And um, once that is ready, I'll be able to go ahead and finish editing Uh, this other video. Now, some of these I can do right on my phone, and they don't need the computer necessarily, but the ones that do need the computer, I need something useful that will actually do the job. You can see that the adhesive that we're using here is just slightly larger uh, in width that we really need, so we're going to have a little difficulty getting that to slide underneath there but once we get that in there it'll work to our advantage a little bit and uh, give us a little more um, surface area to sort of uh, stick to but you couldn't really get anything much wider than that Um, if this is a two millimeter then I guess that would make the surface area just maybe a little over one millimeter Something along those lines. I think I had mentioned a sixteenth of an inch uh, earlier. So somewhere in that ballpark. Again, I didn't measure it, so I don't know exactly what that width is. Now, one thing I noticed here is that I had put these uh, rubber pieces in uh, in order to put my adhesive on, and then I discovered that uh, that was going to prevent me from putting my metal bracket back in. So that became kind of a uh, a moment of frustration for me. Um, so we're going to fuss around a little bit with that, and I'm going to, so you're probably going to get to see me. Uh, fussing around with that um so i'm not sure uh but it it is difficult to put this uh screen um where it needs to go with adhesive fresh new adhesive and put the metal bracket in all before you put this in so this is kind of a a difficult um thing to do uh so i couldn't really tell you which is best or how you might go about that but ultimately you would have to have the adhesive in place on the uh, left hand side there um, and the screen basically fit in there the cable and all that tucked in prior to putting this this metal bracket back in so ultimately I just ended up uh, pulling these uh, rubber pieces out of the way um, again, and then sort of tucking in, uh, putting the, the screws in and, 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 um, tightening that down and then putting the rubber pieces back. So I was not real thrilled with, um, that sort of process. Uh, and since, um, 
you know, we were doing this video at this point. I don't have any uh, specific examples of how that might be done easier or better. So if you think of one, by all means, you can post it in the com comments below. Once we have everything um, basically back where we want it, though, we can go ahead and seal this uh, screen down, and uh, basically you're done. Um, again, there's a nasty little screen protector on there, so that uh, that mess that looks like delamination is just his screen protector. So we're just going to um, turn it on and go through a couple little tests here. Uh, but basically, that is the gist of it. Um, hopefully, you guys can find maybe a couple of better ways to handle that last bit there. Uh, if you do, you can always let us know in the comments below. We really appreciate you watching, and hopefully this video is useful for someone out there uh, that they can do this repair on their own and not have to pay someone like me to do it. Uh, anyway, I hope you uh, appreciate the video. Um, if you liked it, please like share and subscribe and we appreciate you watching and uh we got more videos on the way and um lots of good stuff lots of stuff happening so again thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye now